This guide shows you how to check that Windows 10 has an antivirus or Windows security run in. All you need to do is click on the start button in the bottom left hand corner of the screen, wait for the start menu to appear and then type Windows security. After a few moments under best match you should see Windows security appear with this blue shield. Left click once on that. The security at a glance window will now appear and as you can see under virus and threat protection it says no action needed so I'm just going to left click on that okay and what we'll see here is is it tells us that McAfee virus scan is protecting my system. Now, if you've bought a new laptop and you thought, I don't remember purchasing McAfee, um, it may well be that they've given you a free 30 day trial. Now, obviously that trial will run out after 30 days and you won't be protected. So if you wanna to check to see how long you've got left on your protection that's installed on the system, then just click open app. Now, if you're using Microsoft Defender that comes built into the system, then that is free always as far as we know. So I'm just gonna click on open app there and we're just gonna see what comes up. Now, this bit, it might take a bit of time. It may look as though nothing's happening for a while, but just be patient with it. And uh, here we go, it's now loading. And here we go. So it's, it has actually come up, welcome to your McAfee trial. So I'm just gonna close this box down here. And as you can see here, it says the trial ends in 29 days. So what can we do? Well, we can uninstall McAfee. Uh, let's just go through that. So I'm just gonna close down McAfee there by clicking on the cross in the top right hand corner. And uh, this applies to other antiviruses as well. If you've found that you've got a trial version installed and you need to remove it. So I'm gonna close this down as well. And let's just click on the start menu and or the start button and then type appwiz.cpl. That's A-P-P-W-I-Z full stop C-P-L. And then after a little while, it should say under best match appwiz.cpl control panel item. Move your mouse anywhere over that, left click once. And then hopefully we should see the programs and features box appear here. Okay, so as you can see here, here's McAfee. So what I can do is I can remove that. Or if you'd like to say, if you've got another antivirus like Norton pre-installed or Kaspersky or, or whatever, you could do the same thing, find it in this list and then we can remove it. Um, now, you might be thinking, why would I want to do that? Because I'm going to leave myself vulnerable. I'm going to leave myself exposed. Well, what will happen is once you've removed the antivirus, the trial version of the antivirus, Windows Defender will kick in and uh, give you protection. So we'll show you that in a sec. So in my case, I've got two things here. I've got McAfee Web Advisor and McAfee Total protection. So I'm just going to get rid of McAfee Web Advisor first. So I've just clicked on it once with a left click and then I've left clicked uninstall stroke change. The screen has now darkened and we will get a message saying do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Move your mouse over yes, left click once and hopefully this should disappear from the list in a sec. Oh there we go. So it's, it's actually telling us do we, are we sure we want to uninstall? So I'm going to say, no thanks, just uninstall it. Now it's up to you. If you want to, if you've got McAfee and you want to keep the web protection, then web protection is totally free. So there you go, it says, remember we're always free web protection. So it's entirely up to you. I'm going to uninstall it. So I'm going to say, no thanks, just uninstall. So I'm going to left click that. And uh, here we go, it's now uninstalling the software. This bit might take a few minutes, so please be patient with it. And there we go, it says you've successfully uninstalled WebAdvisor. So I'm gonna click done. And then like I say, I've still got McAfee Total Protection on there, so I need to get rid of that. So I move my mouse over McAfee Total Protection, or you move your mouse over whatever antivirus you've got listed there. Left click once, and then click uninstall stroke change, and that's a left click. And again, it says, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Move your mouse over, yes. Left click once, 
and uh, up will come the uninstall wizard. Now, as I say, if you've got another antivirus, then the screens will differ here, but just follow the instructions to uninstall. So it says here, select what you want to remove. So I want to remove McAfee Tail Protection and I want to remove all files to this program because I'm not gonna reinstall it again. I'm gonna use the free Windows uh, Defender Protection. So I'm gonna move my mouse over, remove, left click once, and it's basically saying you're about to remove McAfee software, but you still have an active subscription. So because we've still got a few days left in our 30 day trial, it's saying that um, we'll no longer be uh, covered by against viruses, spyware, and other threats. But don't worry, we will be, because Windows Defender is gonna kick in after this. So move your mouse over, remove, and left click once. Now, this bit here will take some time. It will look that it's like, like it's stuck. And I have had computers that have been stuck uninstalling for a good 20 minutes, half hour. And I have thought to myself, this is not doing anything, but just be patient. If you're running a laptop, then make sure it's plugged in at the mains just in case the battery dies or the computer goes into sleep. Um, and uh, best thing to do is if it does look as though it's getting stuck, just walk away from it and come back to it every five minutes and just wiggle the mouse just to stop it from sleeping. Um, and trust me, 99 times out of 100, it will remove thereafter. But if not, I do have a video which tells you how to forcefully remove McAfee. So look out for that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video for the time being because it does look like it's going to take some time to remove and I will come back to it once it's finished uninstalling. Okay, so as you can see on mine, it does now say software removed. So move your mouse over, restart now, left click once and let the system restart. I'm just going to pause this video while the system's restarting and then we'll come back to it in a moment. So my computer's now restarted. So let's just check the security again. So click on the start button. And then when the start menu appears, type Windows security. And then after a few seconds under best match, click on the blue and white shield there. And then uh, we click on virus and threat protection. And this is what we would see if we've got Windows Defender installed on the system. Windows Defender being the absolutely free antivirus that comes with Windows 10. So I'm just gonna click the back button up here in the top left hand corner. And you might notice that some of these icons here may have an exclamation mark beside them. Account protection might. If that does, that's that's trying to get you to sign up with a Microsoft account. So uh, I'd say just click dismiss if there's a dismiss there. And with OneDrive, OneDrive again is trying to get you to sign up to OneDrive, which requires a Microsoft account. So if you don't want to do that and you don't have to do that again, just click on dismiss if you see that. And uh, app and browser control. So this often comes on on or, or turns off on a lot of PCs. So if you do see that, then do actually click turn on. That's a left click on there. And then when it says, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Move your mouse over yes, left click once. And uh, hopefully you should have ticks in all of these boxes. So there you go. That guide showed you how to check whether you've got security or not on your PC and also showed you how to remove your antivirus if your PC came with a trial version that's only going to cover you obviously for a few days. Hope this guide helps and thanks very much for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at CWTech. That's at CWTech on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.